All right, everyone, welcome back to uh, Story Dive's kind of sides segment. Where we left off before, uh, we we had to jump off our latest stop, and we've landed in the in between. This is a kind of our in between station where we are able to take a load off, talk about some other not so like huge grand topics. I'm still joined here with my co-host Logan. My yeah. name is Kai. And uh, I've got something interesting for you today. What you got for me, Kai? What are we talking about? Okay. So uh, I wanted to talk about uh, a lot of, especially people that have talked to me within the last like two months, maybe, because that's that's how long it's been taking me to kind of formulate this entire idea. Uh, we'll have heard of this concept. You have you've heard me say this. So maybe yes. like skip just to the next episode or listen because you're courteous and you're my friend and I care about you and you care about me. Either way, uh, I wanted to talk about the entertainment renaissance. Sense. The entertainment uh, renaissance. So, yeah, you have mm-hmm. you have thrown that around a lot, and I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that. Like, are you are you saying that like we're in a like a new era of entertainment? Like, are things on the up and up in the industry? Like, what are you what are you implying? So here's what I'm implying. Um, in it's similar to like the the Renaissance era was a time of discovery and of reinventing kind of the human experience. Um, art form was changed. Uh, religious practice was changed, sometimes not for the better, sometimes for the better. There were enormous feats of architecture, of science, of astronomy, of uh, uh, health, medicine, all kinds of stuff that basically it was an era of human growth after a long stagnation before that. And so that's kind of what I mean by an entertainment renaissance. I truly believe that the powers that be, the the mega corporations that are responsible for most of the modern media we had growing up, you and I, so like Disney, Warner Brothers, 20th Century Fox, which has now been absorbed by was it Disney, I think? Right. Uh, Disney. Lucasfilm absorbed by Disney. Basically, Disney and Warner Brothers are kind of like the the big corporations now. Anyway, at least in the U.S., these corporations have been consumed by the need to make more money, which has stifled their ability to tell compelling and interesting stories. Movies are generally either a reboot, a remake, or a sequel, and they're not compelling enough to truly captivate an audience based on like what made them good in the first place. Uh, video games is a kind of a different yeah. uh, conversation to be having, because a lot of video games still have charm to them, but many of them, especially lots of AAA titles, have the same problem. Reboots, remakes, remasters, sequels yes. have become more I... prevalent in the industry than it is just to make like original yeah. work. That is true. Even the video games are, are going through that. and. Before, before I, you know, because I have a lot of thoughts and opinions on uh, all that stuff. But when you say renaissance, that sounds like a good thing. But I feel like when, yeah, you're, ta- so, when you're talking about all of these reboots and money and all that stuff, that sounds like a, not a good thing. So, yeah, I'm kind of getting into the problem here. And then in, in a minute, I want to get into the solution, at least the, what I believe the solution can be. So is that going right? to be the renaissance so, is when we kind of like solve this current issue we're in like this or get out of this slump or are you saying that the whole yeah is just like i mean because in a way you're right like uh you know the past 100 or so years like entertainment has just exploded we've come so far with it and i i wanted to add on that we, you know the newest form of entertainment is you know youtube twitch tiktok um that kind of thing so um, cause it's like even beyond movies and games. Now we even have creators in their own bedroom and all, like any, there's, there's so much content out there. Like there, there are some streamers that do some insane, like insanely creative stuff. Um, and like yeah, podcasts, there are, there are our podcasts are on the up and up, you know, like I feel like every, every single celebrity and YouTuber and Twitch streamer has a freaking podcast these days. So I, that is true. Well, yeah. so on that on that notion, um, 
kind of to continue along with this, even back to the the video games thing, even in that in the case where they do make good stories, ninety percent of the time when they're released as a AAA title, they're unfinished. They're full of bugs. They're full of holes, or they're plagued with paywalls, microtransactions, mm -hmm. uh, patches, or they release eighty percent of the original game that was planned, and then they like, oh, we'll finish the rest in in a year and a half, and you'll pay twenty dollars for it, twenty more dollars yeah. than what you originally. But you know, uh, so it's just it's it goes back to that point that the biggest worlds that we grew up with that you and i grew up with lord of the rings marvel uh mario final fantasy star wars harry potter monster mm -hmm. hunter mm -hmm. uh you name a Le uh, legend of zelda metro you name a a any kind of story world that ex exists in the U u.s and most likely it's facing some sort of reboot remake sequel that is decreasing in quality beyond anything that we could ever think of and i really think that it's because the what made those worlds so magical in the first place are being lost so that corporations can make more money marvel wasn't originally always about making money it was about telling superhero yeah. stories that people could connect to because they saw real people be heroes yes um, like like Iron Man and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, I, that's the problem. The problem is these these worlds are are getting more stale. That's not to say they can never make amazing stuff again. There's there's still gems here and there. Yeah. But I think this is where the Renaissance part comes in to answer a long, really long roundabout way of <laughs> rambling to the answer that you're yeah, looking I, for i'm ready for it i like i you've been saying all this stuff and it's very doom and gloom and like the you know money and corporations and yeah you know it's like i to me i don't know how we're gonna solve this so I, i'm really interested to hear what you have to say well so here's here's what i think i believe that this is the perfect time to have new creators come out of the woodworks each of these stories uh that i've mentioned before uh, have had decades to build off of, but all of them, every single one of them, started as a small vision of some sort. Uh, as an example, Harry Potter started on a train ride. Uh, Marvel started mm. in a garage. Star Wars came to George Lucas overnight in a dream. Right. Mario, like Super Mario, was never even intended to be named Mario. He right. was just a placeholder dude. Well, the like yeah. the I, I have the whole like, Miyamoto backstory. Call him the, Video Man. Yeah, the 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 Miyamoto backstory is crazy because he was never even on the game making team, and they hired him because he turned. I can't remember which game it was, but they had they had an arcade game that was like not popular at all. Like they made like hundreds or I don't know how you know because it's not like millions because video games weren't that big back then. But like imagine an arcade full of this new Nintendo game, like arcades across the country, and nobody liked it. So Miyamoto took that same arcade chip that the game was on and he changed a few lines of code and it became Donkey Kong. And so he turned all of those yeah, arcade yeah. games into a popular hit game and he immediately was hired on as one of the head game designers for Nintendo and the rest is history. So I like you're saying, like a lot of these things just kind of happen. They, they, a lot of them are, you know, the, you're inspired or you, uh, you, you just, it just hap it just comes to you you know it's like it's an accident sometimes it's a happy accident you know like we, we could even talk about like this podcast that we're doing uh I'm, it's not, not that it was an accident but like we were we were just talking one day and it just happened like it's not like something that we planned on doing for for years or anything it just kind of spawned out of thin air it kind of feels like so it's true it's true well so when it comes down to it uh dune uh the fire Emblem universe the you you name it all of these universes it's it's they're all kind of getting to a point where those the worlds not necessarily have been solved but it's time for new worlds and who's who's to say that that world couldn't be us it, like 
when does the next Marvel start? When does the next band of superheroes that kids grow up with and love uh, and adore and okay. and wish they could be that people wish they could be Superman. People wish they could be Spider-Man. So, but you know, Superman came out in the 1930s. He's he's almost 100 years old. Mm-hmm. Um so is Batman. When is the next Marvel start? Is it is it your garage? Is it mine? Neither is. <laughs> I don't know if you have a garage. We don't have a garage. But like, I, I do. Is in it my a heart. basement? Is it start on this podcast? Does it start where? Who? It is. It is the perfect time. There is absolutely no better time than right now for, especially for creators listening. This is the perfect time. When all of these other stories, all of these corporations are dropping the ball so freaking hard that it's like, it's in its own way, it's almost like fun to watch the, the drama, the yeah. tea of, of these corporations. But what I'm trying to say is now's the time to jump in. Now, there is no better opportunity. If anyone's waiting for an opportunity to be like, I, I just need to find the right time to make a story. Now, now's the time. Mm-hmm. now is the perfect time i i do feel that and you know of course there there's exceptions and you know you know, i feel like we're being a little extreme here when we say like everyone is dropping the ball and all that stuff like of course there are good creators out there right now there are companies that release really good products and um you know like a, a lot of this stuff it's entertainment so it's subjective um but you know i, I kai really does bring up a good point where he you know we're, we're talking about these legendary IPs, you know, we're talking Mario, we're talking Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, like things that everybody knows what they are. But when were those worlds created? It's, it's been so long since we've had a world of that caliber or an IP of that caliber kind of take the world by storm in the same way that those did. Because, you know, it's like we had to have the Fortnites and the Among Us and the, you know, there are games that they Stranger become, thing. They become topical, so I guess. but they don't stick around they don't have the same lasting effect so we are in that weird spot where when it comes to video games when it comes to tv shows and movies people are remaking these legendary shows because i don't like instead of coming up with their own and it's just it is kind of strange it's like we're gonna remake uh you know whatever it is for the third time i I can't think of anything right off the top of my head but like we're just gonna freaking there's gonna be a toy story five well that yeah but that's not that that's a kind of a different discussion about like when to let ips go i mean that's kind of what we're talking about but it's like there are so many remakes like there there's even animes and other things that have just been remade like two or three times and it's like why let's like where are the where's the new stuff you know like think about the like the, the biggest stuff in the world dude one piece is so big right now uh freaking like like i don't know it's it's crazy how it's like, but all of those giant things started 20 plus years ago. So I, it is, it is our time. It is time for new people to come out and release this amazing thing that they've been hopefully working on for 10 years, five years, or even if you haven't been working on it, like now's the time to start if you want. Like I, I, I see what you're saying about it being a renaissance. Like, you know, with all of this stuff going on, like we're the ones that are responsible for making stuff happen because they're not doing it you know if, I, I, if, right to, to yeah, a big degree, exactly to a big degree but, yeah. yeah so uh i just wanted to bring that up while we waited for our next uh station our next train is here so yeah. uh thank you guys so much for listening be, be sure if you do if you feel extremely inspired um please make a story pitch it here send some feedback if you if you need anyone to review stories we're all in we would love to hear about it we'd love to talk about that kind of stuff like please comment and like and subscribe and you know uh we'll be back at this station soon you know put any topics you want us to talk about that aren't story related down here we'll talk about anything in the in-between definitely definitely so we got to make our next train but we will see you in the next episode see you guys